Welcome live to Pittsburgh in a sold out PPG Paints Arena. 13 All-Americans, four teams on hand, and one title up for grabs as this much anticipated national semifinals have arrived. And Wisconsin, as the lower seed, will be in their road red uniforms, and we're underway. And quickly out of the middle, Shelly Stafford, a returning All-American, had to face up against six foot eight, Dana Retke. Tiffany Clark, the libero, 5'11", senior out of Naperville, Illinois. Honorable mention All-American last year. Interestingly, a transfer Karch out of another Big Ten school at the University of Michigan. Repeating in the middle, nice sign of confidence for Locken going right back to her All-American middle blocker. Yeah, that was a big priority for Baylor after they got annihilated uh, by Texas, or uh, their coach said obliterated, and they needed to get more production out of their middles and a faster tempo. And they certainly did as they bounced back and won in Waco over the Texas Longhorns. Three sets to two, Molly Haggerty. Star on the outside wearing number 23, six foot one, redshirt junior out of Ben Allen, Illinois. Missed what would have been her sophomore season with a very, very serious back injury, but back very strongly. Izzy Ashburn serving specialist now on for Kelly Sheffield, the winners of the Big Ten Conference with an 18 and two record, 26 and six overall. First look at Yaziana Presley, number two in the nation in kills per set. Mentioned Kelly Sheffield, voted by the media as the coach of the year in the conference. Lost in the regional finals last year, a heartbreaker to Illinois. And then they were able to host this year. And Ryan McGuire, Big 12 coach of the year, and earlier today, congratulations to Coach McGuire. He was just named the ABCA National Coach of the Year. Haggerty again, split block there, very nice receiving. Some trends, Karch, for people to look for. Let's start with Wisconsin. Well, first thing to notice is that Dana Retke started at left, left front, and so did Yossi Presley. Both teams want those stars of theirs to be at the net and attacking and blocking as much as possible. So they're giving them more time, but then you have that nice matchup, and so far, Presley has been winning that hitting seam and cross court on her two swings past one of the best middle blockers in the country, Dana Recchi. Presley, six foot junior out of Cypress, Texas. This is just the third meeting all time and Presley has put her high flying fingerprints all over both. 63 kills in those two matches and both won by Presley and Baylor. But she was mad, you know, she talked to us yesterday and said, but I had 15 errors and you corrected her. Said, no, it was only 14, but whatever it was, I gotta have less than that against Wisconsin tonight. That ball tipped out of bounds, but I was about to say both teams look pretty comfortable in their first contact game. Serve, receive, and both of them controlling the ball pretty well. Yeah, Baylor's been very impressive this season. That's not their history to be able to receive the strong serving of a team like Wisconsin or a server like Red Key. See how flat she hits that over the net, drives it a little too deep that time. But Baylor, really strong in serve reception. Red Key is very, very special to say the least. Six foot eight, averages almost four kills per set, hits over 400. She was the national freshman of the year, first team All-American in her first year, and she has done the same the last two. Nice serve down the line, kept alive by Hilly, free ball coming to Baylor. That is a really good tip by a smart player. Shelly Stafford, the 6'2", redshirt senior, also out of Cypress, Texas. Different high schools than Yasiana Presley. And she has great vision. Coach Sheffield across the way for Wisconsin even said, we're gonna have to really watch out for her. She finds the open spots just like Sheffield, uh, just like uh, Stafford did there. Danielle Hart, who's really been coming on as the bookend middle blockers, the six foot four red shirt sophomore out of Virginia Beach, hit about 225 the first 10 matches of the year. And since then, and that includes all those matches in the best conference in the country in the Big Ten, she hit over 350. Here is Hillett, named to the first team All American squad. Nice push that time by Locken, wearing number 14, Hannah Locken, six foot one junior out of Des Moines, Iowa. And when she is in the front row and the pass goes close, Paul, she will not hesitate to attack on that second contact. But you could see Wisconsin has scouted that heavily. They had two blockers ready for her that time. 
Good serve down the line, working on Grace Loberg, but that ball hit out of bounds, but is overruled by the first referee. We do have the challenge system in effect. Three challenges per team. If the match does go to a fifth set tiebreaker, each team will get an additional challenge. Challenge ball in and out, touch off the block, net violation, and foot fault on the service line and the three meter line. There is Lauren Barnes, interestingly, a transfer from Minnesota. And I mean recently, she played 31 matches last year for the Gophers. Good sign right now for Baylor. Quality of first contact and also getting the ball into Sheffield an awful lot. Yes, and you can, Stafford. Yeah, and you can see that Wisconsin is targeting Presley. That's probably the weakest part of her game. It's not terrible, but she's much better at the attacking and blocking and serving. And so they're going to try and get her, knock uh, Baylor out of system. Haven't been successful so far. Look at Molly Haggerty, thumbs down. Beautiful shot into the cross court for number 23 in red. And if you're wondering why Baylor didn't block, when a, a hitter is really off speed and falling like that, you don't want to put up a block. You want to set up a better defense. Baylor couldn't get enough players on the right part of the court. Tied at seven. Dug by Clark and then tipped down once again by Haggerty. Very nice reaction by number 23. What a defensive display Tiffany Clark put on last week in the regional semis and finals. Really impressed with her as they won both of those matches 3-0. Tiffany Clark had 19 digs in the three sets to none victory over Nebraska. And that was a match that was absolutely dominated. Big stuff block on the outside. Retke along with some help from Duello. Interesting, Paul. You were at serve and pass today, and Presley and Locken were having a little trouble connecting. Presley just signaled to her after that stuff, higher with a thumbs up. Give me a little more height, a little more time. That was the same conversation they were having at practice this morning. Into the cross court, one of the hottest players in the country, Marika Vandermark, the six foot six redshirt sophomore out of the Netherlands, is hitting a cool 568 so far in four tournament matches. And in the win last week at home over Washington, three sets to one, nine of 16. Perfect, no errors. Both teams passing the ball very well. Nice kill by Retke on the gap. Yeah, Dana Recchi's not only strong at that one-footed layup approach, but she can do it off two feet there when she stays in front of the setter. Call that a, a, a gap. There are a lot of different names for that set, but she's attacking the space between two blockers. Yeah, usually when she gets it, it's just called a kill. <laughs> call, it, call it anything else you want. Vandemar down the line once again. Boy, both teams look very comfortable. Both were relaxed and confident coming into this semifinal. The first ever for the Baylor Bears and what a magical ride it has been to under Ryan McGuire, the coach of the year, four straight trips to the NCAA tournament, first ever semifinal. Nice pass, perfect pass by Dodge and then on the slide again and that ball is hit out of bounds, an unforced error there to Retke who does not make many or again her efficiency at over 400. Both teams again wanting their studs at the net. Redkey on one side, Presley on the other, so they had a direct matchup. Presley is really good at blocking this. Well, that was a slam dunk. Redkey was a former basketball player until she specialized in volleyball. Redkey again on the slide, and that ball cannot be saved. Good hustle defensively by the Baylor Bears, but cannot come up with it. Good opening set in the semifinal. The second will be between the defending champion Stanford Cardinal looking for number nine, the Minnesota Golden Gophers looking for number one. Third semifinal appearance for the Wisconsin Badgers. They are 2-0 and in previous appearances, but they too are looking for their first championship. Here is Haggerty, 17 aces so far on the year. Lots of short serving from Wisconsin trying to take Opposing middles for Baylor out of the equation, but it didn't matter because Yossi Presley can clean clean up even the broken play 5.4 kills per set hitting 281 and hits just as effectively out of the back row as she does the front We'll see a lot of shots out of what we call the pipe and also the right back as this match goes along
getting the ball effectively on Grace Loberg, and that's a couple of hitting errors right now for Wisconsin. Give you some early numbers. Right now, Baylor's hitting 400, 9 of 15. Wisconsin off to an equally hot start, minus those two hitting errors, one by Retke and here one by Loberg. That ball served just out of bounds. Baylor with a record of 29 and 1. Their only loss was in Austin to the University of Texas and tied with the Longhorns at 15 and 1 to share the Big 12 championship. We haven't seen Presley out of the backcourt yet. Nice set and a better block. Sydney Hilly, the All American setter wearing number two in red. Heavily bandaged thumb, but we talked to her about it last week in Madison. That's just preventative. She is just fine, got hurt early, and she likes to block balls, so she wants to protect that digit. Yep, and that's really good volleyball IQ. That ball was low and dying, so that means the hitter is often. There is that back row swing, first one for Presley. That means the hitter on a dying inside set is, tends to hit a lot more cross court. Hilly jumped on it. To give you some idea, Yaziana Presley, who we talked to yesterday, touches almost 10 10. She's barely six feet tall. By measurement, she has a 41 and a half inch vertical jump. Good block that time on the outside by Lock and Hannah Lock and 6 1 Jr. out of Iowa wearing number 14 in white. And some real hesitation there in coverage by Wisconsin. Didn't see any of that last week when they were playing at home. No, they pride themselves on flinging their body. To any ball that's up in the air, somebody is off, is almost always on the floor to keep it alive. Good block touch by Stafford. And then in transition, nicely done by the Baylor Bears. A good run, soft touch by the All-American middle blocker. And then coming right back at you. We'll take a timeout here in Pittsburgh. So we welcome you back to Steel Town once again. This is the 39th annual NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship. Opening set well played, very close. Baylor and Wisconsin, another really good pass. And Danielle Hart stretching the defense and scoring off the right side slide. Why is it so important, Karch, for a team in this sort of configuration offensively to have a really good slide hitter? And Wisconsin's got two of them. When your setter is up at the net, you only have two front court attacking options. One of them will always be on the left side, so you want another one on the other sideline behind the setter. That's where the slide can help so much, and that's why the younger middle for Wisconsin, Danielle Hart, and her development has been so big for, for the Big Ten champions this year. Stafford out of the middle blocking position doing some nice dishing. Loberg off the left side. Baylor's getting their hands on a lot of balls here. Oh, dug by Clark. And quickly out of the middle, huge stuff block. Danielle Hart with some help on the outside. This is a very long Wisconsin defensive team and well-schooled blocking. Look at the help from Duello. There were five strong hands, well-read, well-scouted by the Wisconsin blockers. Rossiana Presley hitting air there. She's been blocked once, hit that ball into the top of the tape. Presley carries a huge load for Baylor. You look at the numbers, she takes almost 37% of all the swings so far on the year. Wisconsin back on top by one. And Coach McGuire said in this tournament, nice hustle. In this tournament, Presley's hitting over 300 out of the back row. That one a rare error into the net. And now timeout for Baylor. Hustle by the All-American Yesiana Presley, but her teammate, the Libero, Terrell Wolf, running out of real estate. Nice little mini run here for Wisconsin to recapture the lead now on top 17-15. The combination, and I asked you about it earlier, Karch, the importance of having a slide hitter. Well, this connection might be the best in all of college volleyball. Yep, you need to spread out the offense or spread out the, the blockers. And when they're late arriving, Red Key going to our left this time. So that middle blocker, the opposing middle blocker is going to arrive really late. That's the blocker who has to worry about two options. One way to the left sideline, one way to the right, and it often creates daylight. But if you don't have a threat on the slide, then teams load up the other way. They don't have to honor it. 
Wisconsin Badgers certainly you start with the Big Ten Player of the Year, Dana Recchi, a three-time All-American, a player that her head coach Kelly Sheffield thought about redshirting <laughs> her first year. Not going to happen. And for more on this wonderful middle blocker, let's go back to Holly. Well, I think sometimes it's hard to remember. She is 6'8". She just looks like a normal size out there, but this is the same size as Brittany Griner, a WNBA center. She is so tall, but she moves so smoothly. When we asked her why she is so good with her feet, she said, I danced for 13 years. She started at a very young age as a dancer, everything from jazz to tap. You can see she was much taller than the other dancers, bless her heart. But she's always been very proud of how tall she is. In fact, she said, I wish I was seven feet tall. She walks with her shoulders back. She's very proud of that height. And I love that she's been able to translate that onto the volleyball court. She is such an inspiration. Yeah, she was saying height's never been an issue. The old, it's a blessing except for one thing, <laughs> shopping. shopping. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout. Baylor much needing a side out score. Instead, it's going to be Wisconsin with a transition opportunity. Huge block on the outside by number 77, Gina Milano, the 6'2 senior out of Romeo, Michigan, a transfer out of the University of Maryland. That was a very important play as Locken will go back to serve. And again, Presley, good hard swing high up into the block, offensive rebound to restart. What a smart shot. Sydney Hilly, a six foot junior out of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and a first team academic All American in genomics and genetics, showing you some of her smarts on that shot. A three, wonderful timing. 3.79 GPA, you can't teach smarts like that. And on a dig like that, that went too close to the net, that's really her only option. So she makes a nice play, not a good enough read on defense by the, by the Baylor floor players. Nice touch. Middle blocker Hart playing some defense as well. And Vendemark off the edge of the block and out of bounds. Wisconsin's lead is 1-18-17. It's been back and forth at the first time out. The media time out, it was 15-13 Baylor. A little bit of a mini run by the Badgers, and they took the lead for Kelly Sheffield now in his seventh year at Wisconsin. Went to the NCAA semifinals and finals in his first year in 2013. Shank pass. Not a good set to the outside by Locken. That was a free ball opportunity for the Baylor Bears and one that they should have certainly had for a very good chance at it. Yeah, that's a killer play. This should be probably 80% chance of scoring, but she could not even get her left hand on that ball. Low, wide, and too close to the net. Baylor's wanted to play a lot faster to both pins, but that one deserved a speeding ticket. And a service error here by number 17, the Libro in the white jersey, Tiffany Clark. But Paul, that will happen. When you run a faster offense, it's higher risk and also higher reward. And that's why you see Vandermark, if she stays on pace, she'll set a new NCAA tournament record for hitting efficiency. Baylor is serving very well. Combination play and stuff out of the middle by Kara McGee, 6'4 freshman out of San Antonio. We're in number 17 in white, the highest rated recruit ever to go to Baylor. She was number six in her class last year. And Locken will continue to serve tied at 19. Haggerty, that ball left a little inside, not a good set. Presley again, and she did not like that delivery either by Locken. Presley off the inside, hand and down. Yasiana Presley now with her fifth kill, and as usual, a very, very busy night so far in this first of two semifinals on 13 swings. And she and Locken are still trying to work out the right height, right location for that set. Baylor leading 20 to 19. We've got a timeout here in Pittsburgh and with very good reason talking an awful lot about Yaziana Presley, one of the most exciting players in volleyball. And you're going to get a closer look at why everybody is admiring her talent. 
she just gets up off the floor so high she can hit out of the back row mentioned it earlier she's hitting it over 300 out of the back court jumping from behind that line and look at her fly that gives her a big advantage that hang time and that's what allows her to be so effective hitting so many different types of sets in various parts of the court front row or back court big 12 player of the year as mentioned second in the NCAA in kills per set. Only Jordan Thompson out of Cincinnati was uh, a little more productive, but a magnificent year. And with more on Yassiana Presley, let's go down to Holland. Well, Yassiana Presley with such beautiful height and elevation can touch 10-9 jumping. We asked her the first time she felt like she could jump. She said, my dad took me out in the backyard when I was in junior high school. I was literally in my pajamas. And she's like, I jumped up and tried to touch a basketball rim. I never thought I could jump that high before, but when she saw the picture later, she was like, wow, I can really <laughs> jump. From that point forward, she started owning that elevation. Now she really knows how high she can jump, but even in the PJs, she still got air. Grew up in Florida, moved to Texas to uh, advance her volleyball career, moved in with her aunt sort of flew under the radar, so to speak, and uh, was lightly recruited, committed to Baylor when she was a 15-year-old. Haggerty coming out of the timeout. That's what we saw an awful lot of from Wisconsin last week when they dispatched Nebraska three sets to none. Held Nebraska to 0-61 hitting. Yeah, just about every timeout Wisconsin came out of, they set their left side, Loberg or in that case Haggerty, Haggerty and they were taken big hard swings toward the seam or the cross court deep corner. Here's, here's Izzy Ashburn, nice pass by Presley. Vandemark high off the top of the block. What a stretch that time by Clark. Boy, Kara McGee made a mistake by jumping on that free ball and then saved herself by getting back inside for the score. Made a mistake by jumping and Dana Redke made a mistake. She forgot that the opposing setter Anna Lockin was back row and not at that point eligible to attack at all. So she ended up le leaving an open net for that middle kill. Bree Coleman, defensive specialist out of Southern California, on to Sarenki is stuffed. Yaziana Presley mirroring the slide and just roofing that ball straight down against Wisconsin. Yeah, so she gets to use her height just as she does for attacking. She can do it blocking. She just takes herself out of the play. She is focusing on the slide hitter. So watch. Number 22 on your left. She's focusing solely on that hitter. She can jump as hard as she wants. She has no other responsibility. Look at how high she's getting. Armpits over the net. Really nice setup in that she read that the ball was inside compared to Dana, Dana Recchi's right arm, so Presley took cross court. Easy stuff. Let's go back to Holly. Well, one of the ways this Baylor team got off to a special start this season back in the beginning of the year, they started out with something called a squat hold. 36 minutes these women stood in a squat like they were about to receive the volleyball. If somebody gave out or their legs shook too hard, they had to take a break. They would add an additional minute. It was supposed to be a 30-minute squat. They kept adding minutes, and it was a made exercise to have accountability that I can't let everybody else down by coming out of my squat or else they'll add another minute. They said it was the hardest thing they've ever been through from a conditioning standpoint, but it told them right, right away at the beginning of the season in August that they were special, that we can be tough, we have grit, and we can overcome anything. 36 minutes, Holly. I made it to 36 seconds this afternoon during, during my workout. I was good to go. NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship coverage continues with the National Championship Saturday, December 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. For more information on the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship, visit NCAA.com. You're home for all 90 championships. And they wanted to come out, Baylor did, out of the gate in springtime because they suffered that loss at Oregon, 15-13 in the fifth set, second round, could have gone a lot farther in last year's tournament. Figured, all right, we've got to put in the extra work, see how far we can go in this next season. Nice. Clark again. That ball off the top of the block and down by Recky, and that ends a 5-1 run for Baylor and gets Wisconsin back within one. Both teams passing the ball pretty well. 
Baylor at a 68% clip in terms of perfect pass and uh, Wisconsin now at 62. Those are very solid numbers. You have two strong passing teams and two teams that might be a little tentative at the service line in this national semifinal. That one ticked the tape, made it easier. Another low set to, Pre to Presley. Nothing low about Dana Recchi. The slide is the staple of their offense, and Sidney Hilly is able to deliver it from all over the court. Yeah, but really, Wisconsin getting their chance thanks to the misconnect between the setter, Locken, and hitter, Presley. See if they can clean that up. That's better. And a better result for Wisconsin. Sydney Hilly, no question you want to avoid Redke, but Hilly showing that she's got some chops as a blocker as well. Timeout called by Baylor. Back and forth, this opening set goes of our first of two national semifinals. Waiting in the wings, Stanford and Minnesota. Let's take a look at the blocking. It's been good by both teams, but timely by Wisconsin. Yep, and Wisconsin taking advantage of a couple of low sets or missed time sets. Duello has been huge for Wisconsin as that right side blocker. That's a really important thing because you're often facing the other team's best outside hitter, Duello, averaging almost one block per set. That's really high for a non-middle blocker. Let's talk about set location. Does that set to Presley, does that need to be higher and wider? A little higher, a little wider, but also Presley can do a better job. If it's not perfect, you don't try to make something out of nothing or try to make a kill when it's not there. So Presley can do a little better job of correcting. That's so much of this game is correcting for the previous imperfect touch of your teammate. And if it's imperfect to her, she can she can do a little better job at causing trouble for Wisconsin but keeping the ball in play. And speaking of the Badgers, also on the outside, Molly Haggerty is off to a very, very good start for Wisconsin. Yeah, and she has been bringing more heat and both the outsides for Wisconsin. Haggerty and Loberg seem to be benefiting this season from not playing as much in the backcourt. They play across the front and then maybe serve like Haggerty will here and then somebody will come in for her. She's not going to spend that much time in the backcourt, but opposing coaches have said they both look fresher as the match wears on. Nice hustle. That was Haggerty in the backcourt. Beautiful play at the defensive end. Presley over the top. Haggerty again. Presley down the line, and Haggerty cannot make that play after a couple of spectacular digs by number 23 in red. Great work by Haggerty, and you could see Presley at the end of that play given her setter props. Hey, that was nice. I like that height, like that speed. Haggerty stays on. Should Baylor serve her? They should. She would be the passing target. Either she should be or Lober. The kill by Dana Retke will give you her numbers. Five kills now on eight swings for Retke. Wisconsin is hitting 242, 14 of 33. And on the other side, Baylor at 167. First set point now for Retke, who's developed, thanks to playing on your Olympic team, a very good serve, nicely handled by Baylor. Presley out of the back row, another dig. That was another save by Haggerty. And Gia Milana able to get that ball through the block and down. And we are tied at 24. Even with headphones on, you could hear Milana screaming, go, go. She really wanted that ball. It didn't get quite out far enough, but she found the hole in the block. Well played. Overpass. And to the floor. Nice read by Shelly Stafford wearing number five in white for Baylor. Second team All-American last year. She said she did not like coming to the banquet because none of her teammates were with her. She brought them all this year. <laughs> now set point for the Bears. Ball set way off the net. Baylor for the opening set. Presley not yet, dug by Clark. Oh, and to the open court. 
A huge break for Wisconsin. Baylor went to sleep in the rally. Yeah, Presley had taken that swing, but after she swings, she has to get back into position. She, you see, she's still working to get back into middle back. Normally, she would cover that deep corner. Tied at 25, got to win by two. Milana again, able to get that ball a little bit off speed, took a little bit off and got that ball down in front of Molly Haggerty, who's been the best offensive player for Wisconsin, and defensively. Really smart swing by Milana. And now Vandermark checks in at 6-6. Their block is improved at the net. Second set point for Baylor, the number one seeds. Vandermark. Through the block and down, and Baylor takes the opening set. The Big 12 champions up one over the Big 10 champs from Wisconsin. That is the first set that Wisconsin has lost so far in the tournament. That is absolutely 100%. Baylor wins the opening set 27-25, and they score first here with a service winner. And why is Wisconsin having some trouble here in serve reception after getting off to a pretty comfortable start? Yeah, Tiffany Clark, one area where the, she's had a little bit of trouble is in right back. So Baylor is definitely targeting her, and so far she's only passing 29%. Good passes where the setter can run the offense. Hilly's in the backcourt. She had to just stay below the level of the net. Free ball for Baylor. Can they take advantage? Vandermark off the edge of the block. That's off of Haggerty into the antenna and out of bounds. Mentioned that Wisconsin, the only team in the field, still left, mind you, that had not lost a set. They swept Illinois State, UCLA, a very good team from Texas A&M, and Nebraska, all three sets to none. And that was their first set loss. Meanwhile, this season, Baylor 27-0 when they win the first set. Oh, that ball's got to come up. Chanel Brantschreiber, five foot seven sophomore out of Plano, Texas, got to come up with that opportunity. We're in number 32 in white. Very, very closely played opening set. It was 15-13 at the media timeout. Back and forth, teams exchanged a couple of runs. Baylor went on a 3-0 run. Wisconsin went on a 5-0 run. But the number one seed, Baylor Bears, won at 27-25. Roof by Repke against Presley. Let's quickly again go over to Holly. Well, in between sets there, Kelly Sheffield of Wisconsin could sense his team was a little uncomfortable. He looked them in the eye and he said, listen, let's get back to Badger Volleyball right now. I want us to be the best team in the planet that is planted in the present moment. Don't worry about what's next. Worry about what's right now. The team wants more communication and wants to get back to who they are. Haggerty into the cross court, dug by Wolf, but nullified a net violation, that huge stuff block by Dana Recchi. That is the fifth for Wisconsin. Baylor holding their own. They've got four stuff blocks as well, do the Bears. Wisconsin has been on fire as a blocking team so far in the tournament, averaging about three and a half stuffs, way above their season average. That ball served out of bounds by Ashburn. Again, the third meeting all time, and they do have some relative recent history. They played in 2018. That was won by Baylor. Presley went for 32 kills. <laughs> and then in the beginning of the season in the non-conference, she went for 31. That's safe. Perfect free ball pass. Oh, look oh. at the dig hanging in. Stafford saying, what else have you got? Well, we've got that. Molly Haggerty really having a nice opening to this match. Now 7 of 11 without an error. The setter, <laughs> Sydney Hilly for Wisconsin, jumped hard, got two blockers with her, but still middle playing left back defense. Shelly Stafford showing why she's a first team All-American. Here is Haggerty again, who towards the end of that opening set stayed on as she usually does not do. Presley from well off the net, able to rise and bang right over the top that time of Sydney Hilly. Yeah, so far, Presley's taken better swings when there's a scramble play, when they're out of system, than she is in system, still having trouble with that connection with her setter blocking. But that ball 
when she had time and waited, just goes straight up over the block for the kill. Presley has taken 24 swings, seven kills. Perfect pass by Dodge. And that ball hit out of bounds, but there was a touch detected off the top of the block. No argument whatsoever from Baylor. We have yet to have the need for a challenge as Retke will go back to the line. 35 aces on the year. And it's only somebody who is 6'8 who can go up and go over Yossi Presley with her 40 inch plus jump. Good dig again by Wisconsin. That was Dodge. Loberg up into the block, and Baylor says not this time. They now have their fifth stuff block. Love how hard number 17, Kara McGee, was working on that play for Baylor. She got fooled a little, but she was a late arriving middle and got her hands into the play for a stuff and a point for her team. 6'5", four freshmen out of San Antonio. Nice play off the edge of the block once again by Danielle Hart. It's 316 on the year and as mentioned has become a much more important and much more volatile, if you will, part of the offense for Wisconsin. Here is Hilly, Big Ten setter of the year. Another dig right on target. Hilly in the backcourt, however, got there a little late. Loberg, ball set a little bit tight up into the block. Tough chance from Alana. That ball was set straight back off the net. And tip to the floor. Long, awkward looking rally, but Grace Loberg at six foot three, the junior out of Geneva, Illinois, able to get that ball to the floor. And Coach Sheffield laughing, happy to see his team get a kill on a very broken play. So much of volleyball is what we call transition. It's not off this first pass set hit, but it's in extended rallies. That is the fourth service error for Wisconsin. Not good in that category against just one ace. Baylor, one and one, one ace, one error as Tara Wolf will go back to serve. 5'5 five, five senior out of Burke, Virginia. That's going to be a net violation called on Gia Milana on the perimeter, wearing number 77 in white. Fifteen substitutions allowed in women's college volleyball, and Kelly Sheffield makes full use of them, going to his O-line time and time again. Lauren Barnes, along with Izzy Ashburn, also in the backcourt, of course, the Libero, Tiffany Clark, and then Emmy Dodge. Too many service errors, too many free points now, given up by Wisconsin. Yeah, you know, Baylor has been really solid in serve reception, and because of that, almost 60% good pass percentage, we call that in-system. And so Wisconsin's feeling some pressure. What do we have to do? We got to hit a harder serve to create more trouble and slow that offense of Baylor down. Nice pass by Clark. That was a really good serve. Dug in the backcourt nicely. Presley doing a good job defensively as well. Presley out of the backcourt. Some of the crowd wanted a double contact, and that's going to be another kill for Yassiana Presley. And there's another broken play kill. Not one of the faster picks she wins, but this is plenty high. And she has three solid blockers in front of her. Easy picking. She can go around it either, either way, left or right. Yeah, Wisconsin was well positioned. She was just too good at the offensive end. That ball served just over the end line. Second service error now for the Baylor Bears. Again, champions of the Big 12 Conference. 29 and 1. So many records were set this year by this Baylor team. First regional final, first national semifinal. Here is Clark. First time they've ever been ranked number one in the country. That's uh, going to be a center line violation. Wow. Wow. That's center one. line violation called against the setter, Hannah Locken, number 14 in white. That's one of the risks of passing the ball too close to the net when your setter has to run in from 20 feet off the net. You'll see Locken sprint in from the right part of your screen. And she gets set up. That one's easy for her to keep her feet on, on her side of the net. Perfect dig by Barnes, number one in red.
Presley is really impressing in the backcourt. She's got a handful of digs and the unforced air there. Shelly Stafford, number five in white, trying to avoid the long arms of Dana Retke. And it's rare, but when things aren't going so well for Presley, that's one of the areas she'll focus on is how can I help my team in other ways? Serving, defense, blocking. We'll step aside. Wisconsin down a set, but leading 11-8 in the second. Baylor in the opening set, the number one seed over Wisconsin, the number four seed, 27-25. Wisconsin bouncing right back. Their Libero Tiffany Clark to serve on top by three. Presley again unloading out of the back row. Karch, what does Baylor do to free up space for Yassiana Presley out of the back row? Because they do move her around. It's not all just Bick. Yeah, do you see how she was not running straight down the center of the court? She offsets, and you see how those two blockers can't, get, they don't have time to get together because they have front court, front court options to watch too. So that's well run. That's one of the patterns that Presley will run, and it really gives opposing blockers fits. If you're wondering about Bick and what it means, it's an abbreviation for back row quick. <laughs> it's becoming faster and faster as the years go by on the overpass. An easy score for Presley. Oh, what a dig by Clark, but can they get there defensively? Haggerty, remember, she had back surgery after an outstanding freshman year. She told us she had the surgery. She tried to come back. She blew out another disc or the same in April and, and just had to spend so much time rehabbing. She's come back, and this year she was second team all Big Ten. Yeah, she called it a re, she re herniated her disc and had a choice. Should I medically retire? because I can't have another surgery. One is the most you can have or go with the rehab. She chose the rehab and here she is, stronger than ever. Nice run out of the timeout. Vandermark with the kill. And now Baylor goes quickly on top. Four nothing run by Vandermark and Baylor. Yeah, this is transition volleyball. Come up with the perfect dig high and off the net and then run your offense. And Vandermark really only had one solid blocker in front of her because of the speed of that back set more transition offense, but this is a broken play. This would be a tough one for Presley to attack. We'll give you the transition numbers in just a moment. Baylor's doing a good job working on Redke. Another free ball coming to the Badgers. Back to Redke again. So if you hit it at the 14-foot line, it gets dug. If you hit it at the 12-foot line, that gets dug too. So just hit it straight down. Back to the well and red key <laughs> and they had they were we've talked about this before Paul but when a rally's going on one team is winning one team has the advantage one team doesn't Baylor did not have the advantage they weren't able to control those digs and so finally Wisconsin wins the rally and gets the ace Izzy Ashburn who came in with more aces than any other player in the Big Ten Conference and she's a defensive specialist serving specialist that's 46 aces now for Ashburn watch she's gonna go cross court she hits this thing so hard we were really impressed with this serve but it stays in more she has more distance to serve it at when she goes cross court either from the right corner to the opposing right corner or left to left. Right now, she's going right to right because she's targeting number 32 across the net, Chanel Ramschreiber. Double contact called on the All-American setter from Baylor, Hannah Locken. Easy play to call, right call. And she missed that serve. That leads to the serve going to the wrong player. The player with the different color jersey who happens almost <laughs> always to be the best passer. And that leads to a perfect offensive play and an easy kill for Baylor. Nice play and reception by Wolf, who had nine digs against Washington in their regional final win. Graham Schreiber, that ball got to come up. Vandemark not quite quick enough to get to that play, dug by Brand Schreiber. Wisconsin on top 15 13. Yeah, we'll watch Molly Haggerty. Coaches call before every play they tell their server where they want to target i'm guessing she won't target down the line at wolf but wolf comes in and poaches that one another perfect pass yes Yana presley had to wait and hang and bang nice, nice save. grand Schreiber with a saving dig now baylor is ahead in the point 
And Haggerty not quite able to get, are you surprised that Coach Sheffield is using Molly Haggerty? Here she comes right now. She's coming out of the backcourt. He Didn't likes, see her at, in Madison in the backcourt much. He likes her serve. Once her serving turn is done and it just ended, then she checks out and they bring in M.E. Dodge to play defense across the back. As but far, her mistake was she didn't keep her feet. Haggerty didn't. She fell to a knee, and then when it got deflected, she couldn't move at all. Off speed into the floor by number 16, the three-time All-American. Redke, update you on some of the passing numbers right now. Baylor, 56% good or perfect pass, and Wisconsin has fallen down to 55 We'll give you the transition hitting numbers, vitally important to be successful in college volleyball. We'll give you those numbers in just a minute. Wolf with another perfect pass. That ball into the deep cross court and out of bounds. Ryan McGuire, the newly crowned AVCA National Coach of the Year, thought about asking for a challenge. Instead, he will request a timeout. Wisconsin leading 17-14. The lead is three. Oh, nice pass. Oh, somehow McGee got that ball off the top of the tape. That was a bullet of a serve by Retke, and somehow number 18, Brea Hunt, fought it off. Yeah, well played. That's all you would ask for in a serve. It should barely cross the net, but what a great play for Baylor and Hunt. Lodeborg ticking over the top. And that ball passed straight out of bounds. The tip wouldn't go down. Brea Hunt, the 5'10 senior out of right there in Waco, played 29 matches last year. She is really one of the true leaders on this team. Practice all the time, a wonderful culture and productive player. Loberg again. Not a good pass, and it cannot be saved by Baylor up into the block. Nice by, by Brea to put that ball up higher. Presley trying to do too much. It'll be four contacts. Presley now 11 kills on 33 swings. It's not unusual in a lengthy match for Presley to take as many as 80 swings. But last year, or excuse me, last weekend, Karts, that's the physically challenging weekend because you play your regional matches, semifinals. That's a shank pass here in the backcourt by Hunt. The run for Wisconsin continues. But to finish the thought on workload for Presley, last week the semifinals of the regional on Friday come right back 24 hours later. At the national championships, you get a day off if you win. Here is Hilly. Baylor's really having some reception problems. Nice up. Clark, what a smart shot. Boy, I thought that ball was on the floor. Yeah, that's the right call. The, the officials got together. A little bit of a late call, but it was the right call. Off-speed shot goes down in front of the Baylor defense, and they now trail 20 to 16. Yeah, often the first referee who's standing up higher doesn't have as good a view, so she'll rely on the second referee closer to the ground who will give her a signal. What about the serving right now for Wisconsin? Sydney Hilly has dialed up an ace. They had way too many errors in the opening set. They had five errors. They've added to their ace total. Three aces in this set, no errors. Tough chance. That is a big risk for Milana on the outside. And now uh, the biggest lead of the set so far for Wisconsin, 22 to 16. Yeah, credit the aggressive serving of Wisconsin Badgers like Dana Retke, Ashburn, and now Hilly getting that serve cross court. She has actually forced Baylor to take Hunt out of the equation, and so Presley is now going to pass. Makes a perfect one. Wanted to go back to her on the back row, quick combination, and that ball goes down. That's Presley with a little revenge from the opening set. Yep, the Wisconsin setter, Sydney Hilly, released. She ran in anticipating an easy play, but she's got to help out a little on that. That put an end to a 6-2 run by Wisconsin. Loberg, nice dig by Wolf. Six, six, six. 
Loberg, that ball right on top of the net. Joust coming. Good coverage by Dodge in the backcourt. Milano's taking some tough swings and is able to put that ball away. Doesn't hit for a very high percentage on the year, but that was a tough kill. Boy, and she went through so much, Paul. Had a torn labrum, had to have surgery after her freshman year. Another surgery for a bicep tendon. Lost all her heat, developed some shots, and now that heat is back, blasting it through middle back defender. Quick timeout taken by Wisconsin as Baylor, just as they did in the opening set cart, answering what was a 6-1 run by Wisconsin coming right back. Baylor won the opening set 27-25. So far in the match, both teams doing a good job defensively. You'd expect that. Baylor hitting on the match 184, well below their season average, which is in the mid 290s. And Wisconsin right now hitting 257, a little more consistent first set to second set. They're hitting 250 here in the second. Let's go back over to Holly while we have a timeout. Well, a lot of people think that volleyball is life, but for Coach Kelly Sheffield, he realized that life and volleyball are very intertwined in his household. His wife, Kathy, saw this cute little note by their Christmas tree before their regional final. His six year old Regan had written this for Christmas. I don't want presents. That's how that word is spelled, presents. I just want Wisconsin Badger Volleyball women to win the national championship. I love a six-year-old who will give up presents for her dad in a national championship. Here's what he had to say about it. Regan's my six-year-old, and, and my wife Kathy walks by the Christmas tree and says a, a, a letter to Santa. And uh, in six-year-old writing, hey, Santa, I don't need any presents. All I want is, is for the Badger volleyball team to win a national championship. So it's, uh, you know, the, the whole family's involved. You're going to get that here. Well, certainly a big ask by Reagan, but well within the realm of possibility for Coach Sheffield and the Wisconsin Badgers. Very impressively, the champions of the Big Ten Conference, and they played the toughest schedule. Nice hustle. Good transition set into the cross court, and Tiffany Clark cannot make the dig. So you look at the numbers, not that impressive right now by Milana overall, but she's taking some really difficult swings. Yeah, and if it gets past the block, it is really tough to defend. She's putting a lot of heat on it. Meanwhile, the servers giving the player in the different color jersey, Tiffany Clark, some real trouble. That ball didn't look like it was going at her. I'm surprised they wouldn't keep the pressure on. That was a big service error by the Libero Terrell Wolf. Presley leading the way, no surprise there with 12 kills. Stafford has seven, Vandermark has six. Dana Recchi leading the way with eight, as does Haggerty, Danielle Hart with four. Those are the leading attackers so far for Baylor and Wisconsin. Good pass. Presley. How hard is it as a blocker when you have somebody that can hang the way Presley does? You could see it on that play. She was waiting. The timing was a little off, and she just figures, all right, I'll wait to see what the block does. It is very difficult, especially when she's hitting out of the backcourt. The Wisconsin block has to hold for a, a little pause before they jump, or they're going to be coming down on that hang time. Beautiful play on the slide, and the hitter who's really been coming on, Danielle Hart. For her effort, she was named second team all Big Ten, and again, hitting in the 200s the first 10 matches, over 350 all throughout the Big Ten. Set point number one for the Libero, Tiffany Clark. That ball served out of bounds, but still set points for the Badgers, leading 24-21. Baylor up one set to none, one at 27-25. Here is Bram Schreiber. That was an easy serve. And Baylor pays the price. Dana Retke, a little bit of a slow start, but now Karch with nine kills leading the way for Wisconsin. And I'm surprised Coach Ryan McGuire chose that serving target when Clark had been having more trouble. Perfect pass leads to very strong in-system offense. Tied at one set apiece, as you would imagine, Baylor, the number one overall seed, Wisconsin, the champions of the Big Ten. Let's go over to Holly Rowe. Well, Coach Sheffield, service was all the story in those two matches in, in my mind. I thought you were much better in the second game serving. What did you think? 
both teams are putting such incredible pressure on each other behind the service line. And I, th I love how our kids are battling. I love how we're battling in the backcourt. Man, Baylor is just a really good team, man. I mean, they, they put so much pressure on you. So, but I, I like it. We're starting to get a little bit more comfortable out there, and that, I think that's good. You kept Molly Haggerty in in the back row. You went out of your rotation just a little bit. What was your thinking there? Uh, they only, the NCAA only gives us 15 subs, so there wasn't a whole lot of thinking. We, we were out, and, uh, you know, she was playing, playing pretty well, and, you know, it's, uh, but she's got a lot of experience back here. So, But I, I like the way that we're playing. I mean, this is great stuff, great match. It is great stuff. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed, the serving was the story in that second set. Opening set, Wisconsin loses it. Four service errors, one ace. In the second set, three aces and cleaned up the errors as well. We're tied at one set apiece. 27-25, Baylor won the first. Bay Wisconsin came right back 25-21. Wisconsin now out hitting Baylor 263-222. to Nice set. And Haggerty. Haggerty's kind of nice. But that play was made by that second touch. Tiffany Clark laying it out, and you love squeezing out a swing from nothing. She's diving and gets it up where Haggerty can jump and actually take a swing at it. Haggerty still perfect, nine kills, 17 swings. Connection is not there, and Cart, you were looking at some of the numbers. When Baylor is in system, they're not getting enough out of it. Yeah, and in system just means they have a good pass, their setter. Hannah Locken doesn't have to move at all or very far to set any one of her hitters. And normally, you would expect the offense to be a lot better in that situation and a lot more efficient than it would when the setter has to really run around to make that second contact. But Baylor, so far in this match, is hitting under 0-5-0 off of those good passes, those good offensive situations. Wisconsin, on the other hand, hitting 385. Tough chance here for Vandermark. Good smart shot up into the block, restart the point. And Presley ripping into the cross court now with 14 kills. And as Courtney mentioned, a double-double, 14 kills, 12 digs. Let's go to Holly Rowe. Uh, I think great, we got the win and went back and forth in that first set. So I think both teams hit at a high level. It's all said done. We got 19 kills in that first set. So uh, we, we need to get more kills as we move into this third set. There's such a big block at the net. How do you adjust to Wisconsin's size? Well, we got to stay fast. We got to keep our passing a little bit more sharp than we did that second set so we can create a few more seams, seams in the block. So uh, hit through those seams and, and not trying to go over them all the time. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. And thank you, Holly. And that, of course, was a conversation with Coach McGuire right after the conclusion of the second set. And Presley misses that ball out of bounds. Still, the connection between Presley, the hitter, blocking the setter, that time a little higher and wider than Presley expected. That 396, not on the season, but so far, of the four tournament teams that have advanced to the national semifinals. Perfect pass, better rhythm, better result. That ball perfectly right into the back corner, but we might have a challenge. And Paul, I think you saw that set went a little higher. I think at this point it would be wise of Baylor to just slow it down a little bit for Presley. She's taken her best swings when she just has more time and doesn't have to worry about a perfect connection. And as you pointed out right at the beginning of the match, I was at practice this morning, and and look, we're in match number 31, and, and Lockin and Presley were still very, very much trying to work out the kinks as far as that set to the perimeter is concerned. This ball being challenged, in or out, it was called in, and we'll take another look at it. Again, you get three challenges, and unlike in international volleyball, that is Ooh, really close. close. That is really close. Immediately, the Wisconsin bench, I think that ball's out. Yeah, that looked out. That looked out. I thought it, when I saw it live, I thought it was perfectly placed into the deep corner. Whoa. Oh, wow. They called that ball in. Wow. The video evidence has to be 100% conclusive to overrule the call on the floor. So now Wisconsin has two challenges remaining unless we play five. Nice tough serve. Oh, what a set. 
Presley with a tough chance, just keeping that ball in play. And Haggerty, Molly Haggerty for early MVP. Having a career match so far. Remember, she was Big Ten Freshman of the Year and went through all those injury problems, thought her career was over, and look what she's doing now in the national semis. Watch Haggerty, great communication. She had to come way over to our right, and then she let her setter know, I can't get all the way out to the left sideline. Just set me a two in the middle. She puts it away. Great adjustment and great communication. A little confusion there on the cover. Bram Shriver was there along with McGee. And Wisconsin has raced out to the 6-2 advantage after taking the second 25-21. Wisconsin now is hitting 275 so far on the match. Baylor just under 200. Timeout called. We'll have another challenge. Probably challenging a net violation here against Wisconsin. Again, very different from international rules. Internationally, as you well know, Karch, as long as you're good at your challenges, as long as you're correct, you keep your two per set. So you basically have an infinite number as long as you're correct, but not so in college volleyball. Looking for a net on the part of Wisconsin on the left of your screen. I don't see any. No, neither do I. And McGee reaching back, and Bram Shriver was fooled by that, could not get her platform up in time. I think this call is going to stand, and it's going to be a point for Wisconsin. Both teams will have two challenges left. I mentioned it previously. Confirmed there was no violation. Yep, so the point will stay with Wisconsin, and now they both have two challenges left. If we do play a fifth set tiebreaker, however, each team will be awarded an additional challenge. Ryan McGuire in his fifth year at Baylor. In the tournament every year except his first. What a job he has done building that program. Yeah, this senior class has been legendary. Presley, perfect timing. Perfect timing on a little slower set. I think Baylor's wise to make that adjustment and not try to be so perfect give her a little time and then she can go even over the six foot eight block of dana redke presley now with 16 kills she's taken 40 swings to get there nice pass perfect pass dodge has been solid but a better block this time gia milana number 77 in white working on dana redke Redke now has nine kills, 19 swings, but that uh, is her third error. Nicely executed. You don't want to go, don't need to go high necessarily. You want to get your hands up to penetrate the net, get into the opponent's airspace. Deep swing for Loberg. Milana again. And that ball off the edge and out of bounds. Aggressive swing. When we talk about a hitting error in volleyball terminology, that's when a ball is blocked on your side of the court for a point or hit out of bounds or into the net. You know, we've talked about it. I, I wish they'd give the blockers some credit. Getting blocked is better than hitting out. I ought to know. That ball is blocked once again. So the staple for Wisconsin has been the slide to number 16, but now Baylor's on it. Why, Karch? I don't know. If, I haven't watched all of their matches, but I can't imagine Dana Redke has been blocked two consecutive swings maybe once maybe just a few times this whole season nice. Presley. Presley had an opportunity to make a nice dig there but when we look back at that slide think about was it left short by Hilly that ball looked like it no. died inside no they were making an adjustment red key was actually running inside she will change that route she won't always run to the sideline and because she got blocked that's the number reason number one reason you would expect her to change change the route Rhea Hunt is starting to get into a really good rhythm passing and now a block here yep. Sydney Hilly again with some help out of the middle for the much much improved middle blocking duo with Danielle Hart yeah Hart having enough time to make the right read and get in position and the tough serve of Redke causes another direct point what did you see in Dana Retke when she came to your tryout camp and eventually spent a couple of months with your Olympic team this summer? Well, we talked about it earlier in the show. No other six foot eight player in college volleyball moves like she moves or serves like she serves, attack or block. She's got so much potential. And as Holly mentioned earlier, 13 years of dance. 
was played a big role in that. She's got the, the good feet. Yeah, she is unique in the volleyball world. And a timeout is called by Baylor. Wisconsin on top 10 to 6. MU battles FAU in the Cherubundi Boca Raton Bowl. And then at 7.30 Eastern time, Chris Peterson coaches his final game for the Huskies against his former team, Boise State, in the Mitsubishi Motors Las Vegas Bowl. Back with Karch Kirai, Paul Sunderland, first of two national semifinals. Wisconsin on top 10-7, tied with Baylor at a set apiece. Still to come, the defending champion, Stanford Cardinal, against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And that ball will drift out of bounds. Dana Recky went through her service rotation, but just, we talked about what a unique athlete she is, but also it was very unique the way the coach right there find his star middle found his star middle blocker. Yeah, he heard about her and said, all right, I gotta go watch her club play, and they had a really rough match, so he basically didn't get to see her do anything. But then he was watching, because often when you play club and your team, it's your team's turn, you'll line judge, and he, all of a sudden he saw her dribbling, dribbling the ball like a Harlem Globetrotter between her legs. It's like, huh. And then he watched her warm up and how well she moved, and he thought, okay, we have to get her to volleyball camp, learn more about her. Good serve into a seam. Wisconsin cannot return it. Service ace for Baylor and Hannah Locken. And let's go over to Holly Rowe once again. Well, I love what Kelly, Kelly Sheffield is doing with this Wisconsin team. They actually have a mindfulness training coach on this trip with them. You talked about Dana Redke getting blocked back to back. She has talked about how that mindful training has helped her move on in a match. She said, I have a growth mindset in a match. If I make mistakes, I move on, I grow from it, and I don't worry about it. Thank you, Holly. Here is Loberg once again, number 21 off the edge. And down and, and last week against Nebraska Karch in the regional final, there was a perfect example. Dana Retke got off to a very, very slow start. 0 for her first four. And we talked to her about it the other day when the teams came in early to Pittsburgh for practice. She said, look, I have learned, as Holly pointed out, to be mindful, to find other ways to help my team, to serve, to block, to be a good teammate, to cover my teammates and things like that. And eventually she warmed it up a little bit. And right now, Wisconsin is really warming it up from the service line. That is their sixth ace. And they got off to a slow start. They missed five serves in the opening set. They've only missed one since. And watch the cross court serve. They're trying to find Presley. Nope, they were pinching her so much. Presley didn't have to make the pass, and she does what she does best attacking out of the back court. Again, offset. Not straight down the middle, but at the space between blockers. Just because you might want to serve somebody doesn't, doesn't <laughs> mean that they're going to make it possible. Good adjustment by Baylor. Bram Shriver back on. Wisconsin leading 13 to 10. Plenty of time for Baylor. Right side. That missed out of bounds. Madison Duello has been pretty quiet so far on the evening. The 6'3 redshirt senior out of Kansas City. Yeah, Duello hitting minus 125. Loberg, who's been huge for them this season at 267 for the season, hitting zero. They need a little more production from those two, and it seems like it's back and forth. The <laughs> team will call a timeout. The other team will go on a service run, just bringing bullets across the net. Now it's Baylor's turn with the ace on Tiffany Clark. Good response by Barnes, and then once again, Haggerty comes from a volleyball family. Sisters both played, older sister played at Michigan State, and she is just lighting it up right now here in Pittsburgh. And that's the off speed that she had to use, especially last season. You see her take something off the ball when she didn't have as much heat coming back from her back injury. Nice speed and a better dig down the line by Barnes of Wisconsin. Right back to it, Haggerty with a stuff block. What a fantastic dig by number one in red, Lauren Barnes. Yeah, and when you get Doug on the first one, Paul, what's going to happen is you're probably going to try and hit more cross court instead of line. Haggerty took it away. Well, both these teams are taking turns beating one another up from the service line. 
Presley again, that not a good set, well off the net. And Danielle Hart and Dana Retke are really doing a job out of the middle. That time Retke now in double figures with 10 kills on 21 swings. Haggerty leading the way. Presley, of course, a big margin on top right now as far as kills for Baylor with 18. Shelly Stafford out of the middle has been quiet of late for Baylor because the passing has been off target. What a swing. Yasiana Presley again. She's having so much more success, Paul, when the play is broken and it's a high set and she just goes over the previous set. She couldn't even jump and hit when they had what we would call a good pass, an in-system play. Perfectly passed combination play, and maybe that'll get number 14. Madison Duello started. That is just her second kill on 11 swings. And as you pointed out, she and Grace Loberg have been very quiet. Loberg at the opposite, just five of 27, five errors, hitting zero. And here comes Ashburn from the left back corner now. The previous set, it was from right back. She's going to hit it across and try to find Presley. Perfect pass. Oh, look at that. That's just too much heat. We talked about her vertical jump at 41 and a half inches. Impressive enough, but she has got a rocket of an arm. She sure does. And that set was a little slower. She has a little more time to just hang and crush the ball anywhere she wants. Brie Coleman now. Haggerty looking for a touch down the line, and that is her first hitting air. That ball down the line and out of bounds. And when Holly Rowe talked to Ryan McGuire, Coach McGuire said, look, we need to pass a little better to the outside. We can find some seams and some holes in the block. And you saw that perfectly with Presley had all kinds of room to attack that ball. Boy, good swing by Haggerty. Using all of the shots and all of the real estate available. And Coach McGuire, wow, this is a really nice swing over the late arriving middle. That's how you take the block out of the equation, not by trying to bury the ball straight down, but hit it very deep and flat in the court. Coach McGuire was telling us about that contagious belief that they've had. I'm sure he's trying to instill more of that in their timeout. Another ball that Presley can't take a swing at. Redke could take a swing at that. Nicely done in transition. Now Wisconsin leading at 19-15. Timeout called by Baylor. In transition, Wisconsin has 17 kills, hitting 283. Baylor, thanks in large part to Yessiana Presley, 19 kills, but only hitting 203 in terms of winning rallies. Molly Haggerty out of Glen Ellen, Illinois. Illinois. We've talked about what she went through to get back in the lineup and now having a really productive season. Yeah, and she told us how embarrassed they were about that fourth loss of the pre-conference season where they went to the University of Washington and just got wiped off the court. And they came back and regrouped and it have gone on to have a Big Ten winning season. 18 and two first place in the toughest conference in the country. It bears reminding that this Wisconsin team started the season four and four. They lost at home to Washington. That was a home home and home series. Also out in Seattle, they lost to Marquette and they lost to this same Baylor team. We talked to all, a lot of the players about it, particularly Haggerty and Redke and Hilly, among others, and of course, Coach Sheffield, and they reset at the start of the Big Ten season. And boy, did they get off with a bang. They beat Nebraska. They beat Minnesota. They beat Penn State. And they were off and running and have never looked back. And part of that reset was it was really three things. Number one, the record starts over. They're 0-0 zero, zero in the Big Ten. Number two, they, they've got to get better. They had to improve. Those were two of the messages from Sheffield. And the third was they seemed to be struggling with mid-match adjustments. So they worked out a different way of presenting scouting information so that the players could be more involved, asking more questions. Nice up again. What a good wow. decision by Redke. First, it was the Libero Clark. 
and then a one-handed bandit by number 21, Loberg, to keep the ball alive. Big lead now for Wisconsin. And heads up play by Redke. When it's up and it's close, use your height. Even if you're just turning around, you don't have an approach. Take a swing. Not a lot of middle attack right now for Baylor. Good first contact. Transition opportunity into the floor. The transition numbers in terms of percentage are really skyrocketing for Rectie in Wisconsin. Yeah, and another misconnection. One of the things that can happen, Paul, when a setter and a hitter are not on the same page is if they're both making changes, then they whipsaw each other and they don't, you, you gotta have one person stay. I'll do the same thing, you change it up a little. Another kill in transition for Retke, starting to pile up the numbers. 13 kills now for Retke on 24 swings, hitting 375. Still no threat out of the middle for Baylor, even on the slide, and that ball missed. Presley was looking for high hands and missed it long. Talked about the adjustments and the changes that uh, Wisconsin made. They also went to the O-line. They started deploying all of those defensive specialists, passing and serving specialists, and that really smoothed out their whole game, particularly at the offensive end. Oh, that should have been a lift. We talked about the O-line, and they lined up for us last week. Emmy Dodge. Lauren Barnes, Izzy Ashburn, along with Tiffany Clark, the Libro, and Dana Retke is the recipient. <laughs> and the, the young lady handing the ball off is Sydney Hilly. And Retke was very complimentary. They're the ones that make it possible for me to get open and get all these kills. That ball shanked out of bounds, at least so far in the third set, a rare missed pass by Wisconsin. In the first match, Wisconsin had a lot of trouble with this deeper standing float from Presley. It's in the air a long time. Takes extra focus to track. Wolf with a stab down the line. Presley tries to track that down. Passing numbers are so vitally important. Right now, Baylor is down below 50%, and uh, it's Wisconsin that's getting up towards 60% in perfect passes. Here is Retke, already with an ace or two. Tough serve. Good the play by Dodge. The O-line taking care of the ball. Perfect read by number 19. Was she the right guard or the right <laughs> tackle? I don't remember. Emmy Dodge stepping in. And Loberg, Grace Loberg, number 21, the recipient perfectly on the outside in transition. And Wisconsin up two sets to one now over Baylor. Wisconsin takes a two games to one lead over Baylor. Very special player for Wisconsin right now who is on fire, Molly Haggerty. And she has two older sisters who have played college volleyball at the highest level. Maddie at Michigan State and Megan won a national championship at Nebraska. And um, Megan, it's so rare to have sisters all playing at this high level. What was some of the advice you gave her for tonight? You know, they don't have to do anything special. You know, they've been playing great all year long. Um, they just need to keep doing that and it's going to show on the floor. So it's like, you don't have to do anything special. Just keep balling out. Balling out she is. Yeah. Uh, Molly has got this herniation in her disc, all of these injuries. How have you guys been there for her and help her throughout this rehab? Yeah, I mean, it was a tough time for her, but we are there if she wanted to call and cry or, you know, we had to get excited for the little steps for her. So we just had to be there. Good days, bad days, because she's going to have bad days. So just being her constant support when she needed it. Three Division One volleyball sisters. So proud of you guys. What a what a family. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Maybe, just maybe, a first championship, but still an awful lot of work to do against the number one seeded Baylor Bears. Remember, they came in on a 13-match winning streak. Very impressive in the tournament so far. 29-1 and one overall, and Karchus Baylor made some changes to their starting rotation. Yes, they did. They, what we call, spun the dial. That is, they are going for a much different matchup with a much different server. So they came out serving 
in uh, what we would call rotation six. They have their center, Hannah Locken, at right front. Normally, they want to have Presley at left front. But they want to, I think their major reason is they want to get her away from Retke, one of the better blockers, and get her going offensively. Not a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> I, w I don't want anything to do if I'm an opponent with Dana Retke. And another thought as well, Karch, it might be because Presley has been more effective almost hitting out of the back row than the front row. Yep, and they set that more slowly so she can get better swings. But getting away from Retke still gives you six foot four Danielle Hart, who's also been doing a fabulous job. Big Ten second team. Dana Retke again will give you the numbers off offensively. Dana Retke along with Molly Haggerty have been putting up big numbers. 28 kills on 49 swings between the two. And now that Presley's not up there, Wisconsin has a better matchup. Retke hitting the slide against Gia Milana instead of the high-flying Presley block. Vandermark. Luckily off the edge of Hilly and out of bounds. We talked about Haggerty and Retke. They're hitting 458 before that most recent swing by Retke. The rest of the team only hitting 151. So you just have to tell Sydney Hilly if you're Baylor, <laughs> don't don't set number 16 and number 23. I guess that's the key. Really good passing by Wisconsin. There's Loberg. Presley again off the top of the block, dug down the line by Ashburn. Great hustle by Clark. What a beautiful block by number 16. Dana Retke. And Baylor chose to run this play faster, so they shot the pass. Watch when it comes over. This pass, instead of going high, they push it quickly, but that does not fool Dana Retke. Reaches her right hand across for the stuff. Stafford was very productive in the first set and a half, but the middle blockers, Hart and Retke, have really slowed down the entire middle attack so far for Baylor. And from the service line, they have really been doing a good job. Again, since the opening set, remember, Wisconsin missed five serves in the opening set, free points for Baylor. That was the only set the Bears were able to win, 27-25. And they had a lot of misses and not really creating problems. Now, very few misses. Lots of aces or near aces. And mega problems. Good block touch, transition opportunity, passed very tight. Hilly over the top. The deep dish, a double scooper, and the officials let it go. And that ball tip just out of bounds, missed by number two, Hilly. Was that a double or a triple scoop there? <laughs> it was only a double. I, I, I used to be able to I used to be able to handle a triple, but but now I'm only good for a double. Only if it's uh, mint chocolate chip. This passing rhythm. I nice, got you, nice dig, Karch. You always did have my back. I know that. I know that. I'm really disappointed in myself. I did not put that in any playable area, but yes. Loberg bringing more heat and bouncing it. Once she, she's been taking some tentative swings, but that one was not. Another tough serve. Duello on the overpass. Number 14 buries it in Wisconsin is absolutely rolling right now. Hilly trying to attract, uh, to attack Presley with her serve down the line, but goes to Wolf, the better passer. Vandemar, Dodge able to keep that ball alive. The O-line playing some oh. defense. Oh, tough chance. Dodge taking a little bit of a risk with this early lead in the fourth set. First of two national semifinals. The finals, the championship match will be on Saturday on ESPN2, still waiting in the wings. Minnesota and the defending champs from Stanford. On a flugel, now backup setter on to serve. Try to add some pressure from the service line, and that is missed just long. Ryan McGuire has done a magnificent job. Everybody recognizes that at Baylor. Only eight times in the history of the national championship did Baylor qualify. He's gotten them in the tournament the last four years in a row and now to the national semifinals. But where does he find some answers to get back in this match? And he says, 
They've only done it because they've overcome the coaching. That's <laughs> National Coach of the Year. What do they do now? They have to get their offense back in sync. They were struggling with it early this morning at the serve pass. I think slowing things down and getting more uh, higher swings and also back row swings to Presley. Oh, and they change that. They run her inside wow. instead of to the sideline. We call that a rip. And she just unleashes on that. So instead of running to the sideline, she comes about eight feet in. The block ran right past that. She had tons of angle to hit at. Amazing that she was sort of an under the radar recruit. Nice up. Milana off the top of the block and out of bounds. Again, Yasiana Presley moved from Florida to Texas to enhance her chances of being a top level volleyball player. Attracted the attention, not of M Coach McGuire, but of his predecessor. And she committed when she was 15. Flying under the radar, now she's just flying. Oh, smart play, but that's stabbed up. Nice save by Barnes. Milana luckily able to tuck that ball down inside of Hart and Duello. That is such a tough swing call because you can't see the block. You almost have to look backwards at the ball coming from the back court. Great play by Milana. After a slow start, or I should say a very fast start for Wisconsin. Tied at seven. Oh, nice block. Really good play on the slide once again. Gia Milana, the 6'2 senior, the transfer from Maryland, able to stuff that ball straight down, and Baylor has come back to lead. Milana making her commit her mirror move. She's just going to move with the slide hitter and mirror that action, set it up perfectly. Wow, that ball looked like it might have been wide, but that off the block of Baylor and ruled on the sideline. So Haggerty, a very rare hitting error so far on the night. Timeout is called by Wisconsin. We'll step aside, Baylor. They are going nowhere. NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship coverage continues with a national championship Saturday, December 21st, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2. For more information on the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship, visit NCAA.com. You're home for all 90 NCAA championships. Wisconsin has really cooled or been cooled off by the serving of Baylor. They're currently on a 5 nothing run. Has the service line been the story for Baylor to get back into this? Yeah, it's been the story when they haven't had success great passing by wisconsin and then when they come storming back like baylor has after falling down early right now wisconsin seems to be in a good rhythm thanks to clark and the rest of the o-line 59 percent perfect pass to only 48 percent for baylor that is a wide margin between two exceptional teams Presley off the top of the block and down, registers her 23rd kill on 58 swings. And I think she's had a lot of success out of the backcourt. We saw earlier, she just went around a three-person block. So I think they'd be wise to get Presley more sets when she's in the backcourt. And then... Haggerty is stuffed on the outside by Locken along with Shelly Stafford. The two All-Americans, there are three of them, of course, along with Presley, first-team All-Americans for the Baylor Bears. Wolf back to serve. Baylor leading 11-8. Still good passing by Wisconsin. That ball dug, but out of bounds. Missed by Hunt, number 18 in white for Baylor. I've been really impressed over the course of this season with Hunt's defense in right back. That was a makeable play. I'm sure she's upset with herself. That did not have the kind of heat that maybe a gross Grace Loberg or a uh, Molly Haggerty would bring. Here is Ashburn. Service story, Wisconsin winning that, but not by much. Seven aces, seven errors. But also, they're getting Baylor out of system. We just gave you those numbers and a much-needed kill for Stafford. Not much out of the middles for Baylor over the last set and a half. And you can see Baylor's opposite, Marika Vandemark, coming in, trying to bring a lot of energy. Keep this lead going or try to extend it. She did bring a lot of energy into the interview room the other day. She was bouncing 
off the walls, tapping the table. She was having good fun. Redshirt sophomore out of the Netherlands, and what an adjustment she has made. She talked about her early training sessions in the Texas heat. Nice play, good wrist, thumb down that time by Stafford. We showed a graphic recently that Yasiana Presley has 23 kills. Now with Stafford's kill here, the rest of the team has 25. They've never really been balanced, but they gotta get something from somebody else. Yeah, and you see the speeded up quick play that they delivered to Stafford there after that tough loss to Texas 3-0. They decided to speed up their middle attack. Stafford again. You're playing against big middle blockers and Brian Butler, Asia O'Neill for the University of Texas. You better play faster. You can and, beat him with speed. And now Dana Redke. So yes, you want to get up in the air, off the ground, leaving the ground or off the ground as your setter is touching the ball. And then, then you can beat them with quickness. Good block, touch, boy, that ball's got to come up. The block really did a good job slowing down Retke, but Branch Driver couldn't make the save. Yeah, we would call that a soft block and a, a great positive touch. Just went too deep for the floor defense of Baylor. Retke hitting 464. Vandermark is blocked on the outside. Grace Loberg, does it seem like Locken is avoiding Presley right now a little bit when Presley's in the left front? I know she's trying other options. You, of course, you saw her set Stafford a couple of times in transition. Those were wise sets, and she's had a lot of success. Oh, play that, that ball. ball. That ball's legally up. Changed the rules several years ago. You used not to be able to play the ball below the waist. And a nice response again from the service line by Wisconsin. And Dana Retke, now it is a one-point advantage, 14-13. And we're going to have a Baylor timeout. Much like the opening set, Karch Kirai, back and forth we go. The two middle sets, if you will, were won relatively easily by the fourth-seeded Badgers, 25-21 and 25-17. But what has been the key, at least for the moment, I know that uh, Wisconsin is doing it from the service line, but what overall has gotten Baylor back in this match? Well, they're having fewer misconnects, and they're not setting Presley as much when she's in left front, using her more out of the backcourt where they have the, the best timing between setter and hitter. Well, and they're controlling the serves of Wisconsin better this set. Let's go to Holly Rowe. You see the young lady in that Baylor huddle. That is assistant coach Samantha Erger. She just gave birth December 5th. She was due right now when this tournament would be going on. So she had herself induced so that she would not miss any volleyball coaching. December 5th, 3.17 p.m. Demi came into the world. She is a gorgeous little baby. And Samantha was on the bench with a doctor's note 36 hours later for the USC match in the regionals for Baylor. That is dedication to coaching and motherhood. Demi, we love you. We're glad you're here. And Samantha, all of us who have had children, we salute you. I can't believe you're back at work. My goodness. Wow, exactly. That is just a wonderful story. Thank you, Holly. And Coach McGuire said, she was getting ready to deliver and she's still sending him texts. Hey, now don't forget, check in with this recruit and that recruit and you gotta tell, you gotta call this person. Well, Relentless. Well, this is a program that is on the rise and Baylor will now be one, theoretically, that will be added to the list of the likes of Penn State and Nebraska, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Stanford, SC, UCLA, and Texas, among so many others. They are a factor now. Nice play by Presley off the edge of the block and down. And let's remember that Yasiana Presley still has another year of eligibility. 63 kills in the previous two matches against Wisconsin, both won by Baylor. That set wasn't as well located, Paul, but because it was higher, it gave Presley more time. She could earn the kill. Nice up. Chance here for Baylor. Can they convert? That was another brilliant dig in the backcourt. Vandermark tucks it down inside of Hart that time. An important score for Baylor. We've seen that a few times. The middle, Shelly Stafford, that All-American middle for Baylor, jumps in to make the set from the backcourt. That's a skill that she's really executing well and helping her team be good. 
one big difference and service error here by Stafford. But because of the O line and all the defensive specialists on the floor, I was noticing that Hilly was looking at the slide from Hart and maybe to uh, Duello on the outside. But Wisconsin has no back row attack. It's something that Baylor doesn't even have to concern themselves with. Nope. They have decided to go much more with ball control and passing. And defense, as evidenced by Tiffany Clark, that ball missed long. Looking for a touch is Grace Loberg, who is not going to get it. Loberg now 7 of 35, not having a good semifinal so far, but a long way to go. She is a really important player for Wisconsin and has a very, very solid year. Yep, hitting 0 2 9. They still haven't figured out how to get Loberg going, but she's been big for them, hitting almost 270 over the season. Now you see Baylor trying to exert pressure at the service line, missing a few short. What's going to happen is when you want that ball to cross the net only by a few inches, some of them are going to float downward and fall into the net. In comes Lauren Barnes, five foot six junior out of Naperville, Illinois. Again, played 31 matches last year for Minnesota, and now is playing at another Big Ten school, and a chance to maybe play Minnesota for a national championship. Presley, not a good set, and the price is paid. That ball was way off the net. Not where Presley was expecting that ball. She's expecting it close to the, much closer to the net. You see how she ran past it, and got under the ball. Then she can't see the block, and now the block has the advantage. Tight pass. Kept alive by Clark. Little confusion by Baylor. And stuffed on the outside. Duello with the roof. Duello's come up with a few of these, setting up in the perfect spot, putting her right hand in front of the ball, leaving a tiny bit of line but Presley couldn't thread the needle. Tied at 17. Connection not there in the middle. Opportunity here for the Badgers. Good transition set. Nice save. Good work out of the middle by Hart. Really good work by the block for Wisconsin. Trading opportunities and then crushed off the right side by Duello. The block and defense set all of that up for Wisconsin, Karch. And sit the six foot four Danielle Hart, who's been growing and developing so much this season, keeping that ball alive and then getting another block touch giving her team the chance to get that duello swing for the kill. Timeout is called by Baylor, Wisconsin on top, 18-17. Boy, a game, a match of runs so far. Wisconsin looking to put this semifinal away. They've appeared in two semifinals previously. On both occasions, they did win in advance to the championship. In 2000, they lost to the Nebraska Cornhuskers three sets to two, and in Kelly Sheffield's very first year in 2013, after, you know what, you know what Wisconsin finished the year before Coach Sheffield arrived? They finished 10th in the Big Ten, and the next year, he had them in the national championship match, and they lost to Russ Rose and Penn State three sets to one. And remember, one of the keys to that is as he came in, Lauren Carlini, who had committed to Wisconsin, stayed with that commitment. So a national caliber setter coming in didn't hurt the situation. <laughs> First of two semifinals, excuse me, Karch, Minnesota, and the defending champion Stanford Cardinals still to come. And Carlini, what a great role model for the setter now hit Sydney Hilly for Wisconsin. And Sydney Hilly graduated high school a semester early so she could come to Madison and train with one of the great college setters of the last 15 or 20 years, side by side with Lauren Carlini, who is now a member of your Olympic team. Not only learned to set, but learned to lead. Yep, studied her. And also she just wanted to lock down the position. She knew. Baylor changing it up and putting Yossi Presley on the right side of the court, trying to get some success. But Hid Hilly knew Carlini's done her eligibility. She's she's now played out her four years. 
And so she wanted to get there early, knowing how important that setter, setter hitter relationship is and have all spring to work. Killed by Presley ends a 4 0 run by the Badgers. Nice play, but dug by Hunt. Opportunity here and a tough one for Milana, just keeping that ball in play, but smartly to the setter. Haggerty again. That was a brilliant bump set by the Libero, Tiffany Clark. All three contacts for Wisconsin, great. H Hilly with the good read, putting the ball right in the middle of the court to make her next contactor's job easier, Tiffany Clark. Trouble pass here. Brea Hunt shanks that. And Tiffany Clark doing a good job serving and continuing to put pressure on Baylor. 20 to 18 as the run continues. Pretty tough shot by Presley from about the 20 foot line. Nice dig by Hunt. Yes, Yana Presley is roofed by Retke. Baylor needs a timeout. They don't have any. Yep, they're out. I they said they needed one. Yeah. I didn't say they had one. <laughs> they they could try to challenge. They could, they yes. They could have challenged yep. a, a net touch yep. on the yep. block yep. there. It's but been known right. to happen. You're right. They need a break. Overpass. Haggerty, no, into the middle, and Ricky off the edge of the block and down. Now the lead is 22-18. Baylor, the number one seeds, have lost only one match all season long. That was at Texas, and they avenged that at Waco weeks later to tie the Longhorns for the Big 12 championship. What a roof on the outside, and Wisconsin has been the hottest blocking team in the tournament so far, 3.5%. They've continued to do that. The senior class, a school record 29 wins. Co-champions the first time ever. School record four straight NCAA tournaments. And first time ever to the national semifinals along with the regional finals as well. Nice play out of the middle. That is a lovely quick kill by Nicole Thomas, 6'1", senior out of Richmond, Virginia. 23 to 19. Wisconsin two points away from their third ever national championship match. Haggerty. That ball has got to be dug. That was not that tough a chance, but Wolf could not handle the heat. And now it is match points. 24 to 19, and the best server in terms of aces in the entire Big Ten is going back to the line. Stafford, Haggerty for the win. Not yet. Nice dig by Wolf. Right on top of the net. Dana Retke and Wisconsin is moving on to the championship. Such an impressive run for Wisconsin. Beat Nebraska last week in the regional finals. They had not lost a set until they dropped the opener 27-25 to Baylor and then won three straight sets very impressively. Molly Haggerty didn't get the kill, but set up Dana Retke for the final point. And what a performance by Yassiana Presley and the Baylor Bears. They'll finish the year at 29 and two. We showed you all of their history and Ryan McGuire, the Big 12 and National Coach of the Year. Wisconsin and Baylor pausing for a moment of prayer after this competition. We just thank you so much for who you are, God. That your word says that you love us so much and that your son Jesus came and died on this earth for our sins, God, so that we could be close to you, Father. And so I pray that we accept
accept that truth, God, and let me just be obedient to the things that are calling us to do in this life, God. We love you so much. Just say, amen. 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 Great sportsmanship, Dana Redke, and of course, Yassiana Presley know one another well, as do the other premier players spending time in your gym, playing on under 21, under 18 teams. There is an awful lot of incredible, incredible respect, and all respect to the Baylor Bears, and particularly the number four seed, Wisconsin Badgers, moving on to the national championship on Saturday. Let's go to Holly Rowe. Dana Redke, a hard-fought match. It really was your serve that came alive. You had three service saves as yourself. How did that confidence start to grow throughout the match? Yeah, I mean, over the past week, I've really been working on my serve just to perfect it because it's been some ups and downs with that. But I'm feeling really, really confident about it right now. And just getting in a rhythm is really important with serving. So my defenders and my blockers did a great job just keeping the ball on the other side of the net and putting points away. So it was really all of them. Our service funds are all of all them. You guys lost the first set. That hasn't happened to you that often this season how did you find the strength to really rally back and take charge yeah i mean being down we're, we're okay with it we just know how to play badger volleyball and point by point we come back and we just keep making plays and we know that we're going to be just unstoppable so i'm really proud of the way that we kind of just shook off the first set and kept moving forward to the second so it was just an awesome team effort right there it was an amazing display with two all-americans you and yasiana presley what did you just say to each other when you just hugged and embraced just now yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm great friends with Yas. Just said I love you. You're a stud. Um, she's, she's just an amazing player, and I have so much respect for her and hopefully be seeing her in my, in my future, playing on the same team with her. So she's just absolutely awesome. And, um, yeah, great friends, great friends. All right, on to the championship. How about we see you here Saturday? Well, we won't be here. I can guarantee that. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks. And maybe Dana Recchi will be dancing her way into the national championship match. Congratulations to Wisconsin Baylor. A record-setting and magnificent season comes to a close. Update the bracket for you. Wisconsin moving on, 7.30 Eastern time on ESPN2. And coming up next, number three, Stanford, the defending national champions against the seventh seed, Minnesota Golden Gophers. Back with Parch Karat. Your thoughts on that match, particularly the way Wisconsin, Dana Retke and her teammates picked it up in terms of service pressure all night long against Baylor. Two big things for Wisconsin. They had not lost a set in this tournament. Losing that first one, no panic, all resolve and grit. So they had a really nice response. And part of that was response was the very tough serving. Caused a lot more scoring opportunities and wore down that tough offense and that great player Presley across the net. And all night long, the O-line did their job. They made maybe the smallest offensive line in the history of the Big Ten, but they opened some big holes for Dana Recchi and Molly Haggerty, who combined for 34 of the 54 kills as they are moving along. So, Wisconsin wins it. Who will they play? Will it be Stanford or Minnesota? For Karch Kirai, Holly Rowe, I'm Paul Sunderland, saying so long for now.